Next question is from L. Squai. Should a seated dumbbell shoulder press be done at a slight incline or at 90 degrees? Oh, yeah. Oh, so you know why they're asking this. Yeah. You know, okay. So you'll see bodybuilders often do an overhead, you know, dumbbell shoulder press, and the bench is not straight up. It's at a slight incline. And that's because they don't have great shoulder mobility. That's right. Yeah. That's really what it is. It's they, compensation. They don't have the ability to really get that full extension at the top. Are they both hitting the shoulders? Yes. But if you can't press directly up over your head, you should be doing things that get you to that point because that is expressing that kind of full shoulder mobility. And I would say, in you know, we've, there's some studies that show this, that good full ranges of motion under control tend to build more muscle than shorter ranges of motion. Of course, all things being equal, right? You should be able to do it, so don't hurt yourself. But you should be able to press straight up over your head and not have to be at this kind of, you know, slight incline. So... Now, that uh, that's being, basically it. Yeah, that being said, uh, and I 100% agree with you that that is what's going on. Uh, and you can always tell you walk by and you see someone uh, doing a dumbbell press like that. They'll either be at the slight incline or they'll have this massive arch where they actually, like, I mean, I remember They're doing watching, it themselves. Yeah, I remember watching my buddies would scoot their butts at the end of the thing and then just their upper back is against the bench and it's like, damn, I mean, they may as well be on, a, on an incline. Right. Now, that being said, it doesn't mean, though, you can't, like, because I'll do this every once in a while and I have the shoulder mobility to do it where... I'm like, oh, I'm I'm doing shoulders today and chest, and so I'm gonna do something in the middle there where it's mm. it's more of it's not a full you know like forty your your traditional forty five degree incline bench press, it's more like you know I don't know what degree I would say that is it's more like at a sixty or a seventy five degree angle, uh, so it's a lot more shoulders and I'm doing shoulders that day, but I'm also doing upper chest and so I'll and I never really do that so I'll include it every once in a while so if that's your desired outcome there's nothing wrong with doing that but when you see it like to your point it's mostly because people can't yeah. uh, do a straight up you know 90 degree totally. uh, well this is also why I, I like the Viking press and and you know the stuff with the land landmine as well uh, just because of uh, the amount of, of force that's, you know, the directional force, I can actually like push, you know, the weight and, and get full extension. So I'm up, but also like it's not quite as demanding on the shoulder joint specifically. Like it's not all the forces aren't straight down. Yeah, because of the way the angle of the bar actually is a little lighter at the top and you can move your body forward. You can move your body extension. forward into it. I think that's a great way to kind of transition you into, yes, good point. Um, you know, like direct overhead load. Oh yeah, that or a Z press. I mean, mm -hmm. to yeah. me, that's oh, so a Z press. So I mean, you have to, right? Well, I would yeah. either do a Z press or what I actually started to do when this I become I became aware because I was guilty of this, right? I was guilty of being this bodybuilder guy who did the the arching his back like crazy. That's why I didn't do overhead press a lot. Um, as I became aware of that and started to work on the mobility and address it, one of the things I would do if I sat at a you know ninety degree bench to do a shoulder press, I'd actually take my back off the bench. So instead so of just have, your hips are on. Yeah. So that I have to, so I have to, my core has to stabilize me and then I can get, I get full extension. And I, that way I don't, if it's on, if my back is touching, then I'll scoot and I'll arch, I'll cheat because mm -hmm. it's there. Whereas if it's not there and I have to stabilize, I'm kind of creating a Z press. You want to know what's funny? When I was a mm -hmm. kid, I noticed that if I focused on really getting straight up at the top, I'd get like a way better shoulder pump. Right. And it's because you have to stabilize more and all that stuff. So you know what I actually did? I used to work out with one of my cousins and we would sit, I had a bench that was adjustable and it let you do that. But then you'd find yourself as the reps went on that you'd slide, your butt would slide forward as you started to cheat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we would take a canvas belt. Remember those belts you used to wear? They're made out of you'd canvas. You'd strap yourself yeah. to the bench? Around the bench no, around you your didn't. weight. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> this was my solution when I was 15. That's, that's awesome. Great. But, I, but it worked because yeah. you couldn't slide forward. Yeah, yeah, And it actually worked. It got it's you like to a really carnival have to, ride. Yeah. And, but we'd drop the weight. We'd have to go way low, lighter with the weight. Uh, but I got great. a way better shoulder pump. You know, those, uh, those hoist machines are cool that do that too. You guys have been on those ones where you sit on it and when you press, it, it, it moves. Oh, yeah, it yeah. moves yeah. you. So it kind of it gives you that, you yeah, yeah. It yeah, kind of yeah. gives you the Viking press feel in a seated position on the way the the hoist machine. Speaking works. of shoulder presses, machines. One of my favorites is the hammer strength, where you kind of lay yeah. back, yeah. but the handles. I'm go a fan back of here. hammer strength. Yeah, I actually like that one. But you know what? I have never used anything that I like as much as the Viking press. Uh, and I mean, no affiliation or anything like that. That's the best that, shoulder it, machine I've ever used. It's awesome. crazy to me that I mean, we we've talked before on the show about. Um, 
you know, things that we find that are new or things last. Like that's one of the most recent things that kind of blew my mind, right? We, I, that is lift, the most recent. Frame. I've been lifting for a long time and yeah. I just recently started to use a Viking press and I, it was, I mutually, we're all in love with it. It's, it's so complimentary too yeah. to overhead press. Why can't we get you a sponsor know, on that? Such a great Can pump. you, one of you two, find a company that you really like that makes them? I tried. But oh, maybe now that we're yeah. saying the podcast, contact well, us. Let's put it out there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. If you make a Viking press, I want to sell your Viking press. So let's work out a deal. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.